All right, this is my recently purchased 1992 Ford Econoline club wagon. I just got it a few weeks ago and I'm going to do a baseline on what kind of fuel economy this thing gets. According to the revised EPA website, it gets 12 mile city and 16 highway. And it's a 5.0 liter V8 engine, so I'm going to I'm filling it up right now at the gas station. Let's uh, reset the trip meter. And it has 137,000 miles. It's not bad for a 92. So let's go ahead and reset this. It's zeroed out. It's not, a, not the prettiest thing in the world, but the interior is actually really nice. Uh, the door doesn't lock. The sliding door doesn't lock, so I just chain it onto the chair so, you know, no one can steal it. Not that anyone wants to steal this thing. I believe it has a 35 gallon tank. So, I put 13 gallons in it. One click, I'm not going to top it off so that when I get the baseline of my fuel economy, I could, uh, go, I'll go to the same gas station so it'll be accurate as possible. The reading will be accurate, as accurate as possible. So, I'm going to see how my fuel economy is and then I'm going to do, after that, I'm going to do a synthetic oil change. Maybe get a K&N filter and see how much the fuel economy improves. So, you know, so I could get an idea what this thing gets for fuel economy. 12 and 16 is pretty horrible, but that's the revised EPA estimate. I believe they estimate cars doing 70 with full AC. I drive this thing at 65. It's, it's slow and it's shaped like a box. So no, no point in going more than 65 in this thing anyway. So uh, yeah, so we're going to get a baseline fuel economy for this monster, monster of a box vehicle. There you go, it's full. Alright, before I get a baseline of my fuel economy, I did a quick oil change. This is change number one I'm going to do on this experiment. Um, I'm going to try this mobile one, advanced fuel economy oil. The claims aren't too outlandish. It only claims like a 2% increase in your fuel economy. Um, yeah, the oil change wasn't too hard. There's a filter right there. I mean, it looks like a horrendous place to put an oil filter, but it's actually, it, it wasn't really hard. It was actually pretty easy. You could get a oil filter wrench in there. So, yep, just got done with that. I'm going to add this. And let's see, let's see if it does anything. At least I don't have to worry about my oil for another 10,000 miles. I personally don't change my oil every 3,000 or 5,000 miles with synthetics. You could go like 10,000 miles nowadays, so let's go ahead and add this. Alright, change number two is a quick um, intake update. I took the bolt off here. Um, this is supposed to like, you know, the bolts right here to keep the you know intake assembly nice and steady, so I just went ahead and took this off and a lot of, well, I think all car manufacturers pretty much do something like this. They add like some kind of sound baffle because people don't like sound. Companies want to keep the car as quiet as possible. So thankfully, this comes right out. There you go. So yeah, that was pretty much all we have right here sucking in the air. So just simply pulling that out, that, that was a huge restriction. So there you go. Maybe I added like two or three horsepower, who knows. Every little bit counts because everyone knows that a more efficient vehicle gets better fuel economy. So all I have to do now is slap this back on, you know, just to keep the intake assembly like nice and steady. And that's change number two. So synthetic oil change, um, mobile advanced fuel economy, and this. So two changes so far now I'm gonna head over to the gas station all right I'm filling up here I put uh, 255 miles on my van from the last time I filled it up 
and uh, I put the synthetic Mobile One Advanced Fuel Economy oil in here. I took the um, sound sound baffle out of the intake. I was gonna get a K&N filter, but they didn't have it in stock for my truck or my van. I added uh, two of those Berryman fuel injector cleaner, and I put 18.82 miles. So let's see, 255 divided by 18. Point one eight two. That is a uh, thirteen point five four miles per gallon. It's pretty bad. That's that's even under the EPA rating. So that that's thirteen point five four miles per gallon, and it's like forty percent freeway and like sixty percent stop and go. So let's see if I get any improvements with this next fill up. I'm going to do my fill up with the uh, Mobile One Advanced Fuel Economy Synthetic Oil, the intake um, sound baffle removed, and my two cans of Berryman in the fuel tank. So I just put 18.947 gallons in my van. And I traveled 270.2 miles. So. Let's go ahead and calculate this. So, 270.2. And let me double check what I, how much gallons I put in. Divided by 18. Oh, divided by 18. Point nine four seven fourteen point two six miles per gallon. So my fuel economy improved by point seven miles per gallon. That's not bad. Um, I could have been more scientific with this test, but I wasn't. I put the oil and I put the took I took out the sound baffle from the intake and I put in the Berryman fuel injector cleaner so all that contributed to my fuel economy gain and I don't know where most of it came from but you know I just it would have been too tedious doing that all at once or not all at once but once at a time so there you go 0 0.7 miles per gallon improved I went from 13.5 to 14.2 with those three changes alone and I drove basically the same way I did last time I did this and now we're gonna see if I get even more improvement with the K&N filter in here so hopefully we could go up a little bit more I'm pretty happy with the results that's pretty cool I, I think if I took this thing on a road trip like straight freeway this thing might be able to get like 18 miles per gallon 17 or 18 so uh, one more time we're gonna go one more fill up with all these little improvements plus the K&N filter I just put in. Alright, here we are at the gas station. When I first got this thing I got 13.5 miles per gallon. Then I added Mobile One synthetic advanced fuel economy oil, two cans of Berryman fuel injector cleaner, and I took the sound baffle out of the intake which was a huge restriction. And I got 14.2 uh, miles per gallon. So now, here we are for the third time. And I added a K&N filter and that's it. So let's see if the K&N filter added any extra fuel economy to this thing. So I traveled 444.7 miles per gallon. Let's see how much gas I put in. We put in a uh, 29.671. So... 29.671 14.98 miles per gallon so we went from 13.5 to 14.2 and now we're up to 14.98 miles per gallon that's not bad at all so it looks like what was holding this thing back in fuel economy was the intake so there you have it 
So, there's some easy stuff you guys could do to improve your fuel economy. If you got a new car, you don't need to add fuel injector cleaners. But go ahead, check out the intake, see if you have any sound baffles in there. Because your fuel economy may improve if you take the restriction out. Uh, if you want to put the expensive, uh, like, fuel economy type oil, go, go for it. You know, it's up to you. I personally just put it in because I don't like changing my oil every six months. I tend to go like nine months to a year. That's why I put the expensive stuff in there. So there you have it. Have fun with your own experiment. And there you go. From 13.5 to 14.98. Not bad. All right. Have a kick-ass weekend, everyone.